Okay, so today I'm just going to show you guys how to use reference images inside of Blender. Um, usually you might use a software like PureRef, but I want to show you how you can do it completely inside of Blender without any external software. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up a new 3D viewport um, panel. So, you can come up here to this top right, and once we get a little plus uh, cursor, we can click and drag over to the left, and we get a new window. Now, we are going to just clean up this viewport. We don't need a lot of this stuff showing. We can go to View, uncheck Toolbar, uncheck Tool Settings, and uncheck Adjust Last Operation. Now we can also turn off the gizmos, and we can come to here, open this up, and we're going to uncheck everything uh, except for annotations and extras. Okay, now we can go into front view here, so that's one on the numpad. You can also go for the tilde key, which is the one below the escape key, and you can go front view. Now let's bring up our file browser and we can just drag in these images. I'm just using some sample photos that I've taken. Um, and you can just drag them in here one by one. Okay, once you have all those in here, uh, we, you can see we have a problem. We don't want the images over here and we don't want the other stuff over here. So what we're going to do is just select all these images. So click and shift click to select all the images. We're going to hit M, move to new collection. Let's call this as ref and then hit enter. And now you can see we have a new collection over here. Now what we're going to do is hit N, open up our sidebar, go to view, and then go down to collection. And now we can see we can hide and show collections here. But you can see the problem is that it's hiding and showing them up here as well. And what we want is just to hide and show them in the viewport. So we can check local collections. Then we can just hide that collection. And now you can see we only have images over here. We can move stuff around. It looks like some of these need to be rotated 90 degrees, the ones that were sideways. And yeah, now over here, we want the same thing. We don't want uh, the images to show. So hit N, View. We're going to have to go down to Collections and make sure you have Local Collections checked again. And then we're just going to hide that reference it. And hit N to close that again. So now you can see we have all our reference images right in Blender. You can rearrange them. And I think this is a better option than PureRef just because uh, you can have them straight in Blender. It's really easy to just drag this window over to hide it. And you can just use the same hotkeys. You don't have to worry about remembering a different set of hotkeys, even though PureRef's hotkeys are pretty similar. It's just, I think it's easier this way. And the other thing we can do is draw. Um, so we can use the annotation tool. Uh, so hit T, and then we have our annotation tool here. And if we want to, we can mark up our different images. I don't have a graphics tablet right now, but you can do things like draw arrows and circle things and so on. So this is another really useful tool that uh, PureRef doesn't have as far as I know. And you can see over here, we are getting our annotations, which again, you probably don't want. So we're gonna come up here to overlays and open up this and we can just uncheck annotations. Pretty cool. So I hope you um, learned a lot from this video. I think it's just a nice little trick to have when you need to work from image references in Blender. Um, and yeah, I know there are uh, soft pieces of software out here, but I think it's pretty cool that you can do it right in Blender and get a very similar result. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.